Hi, I'm Julia, and I'm going to talk today about the shared characteristics between trapezoids and parallelograms. First of all, both are quadrilaterals, which is just a four-sided polygon. We're going to look first at parallelograms. So we've got the four sides. It's a quadrilateral. We have two pairs of congruent angles. Here's the other pair of congruent angles. We also have two pairs of congruent sides. The opposite sides are congruent. And then we have two pairs of parallel sides. Again, the opposite sides are parallel. Now the trapezoid is a little different. Trapezoid does not need any congruent sides or angles. It just needs one pair of parallel sides known as the bases, as the bases. These are the bases. Now, there is argument as to whether or not a trapezoid needs only one pair of parallel sides or two. Um, some people consider parallelograms to be a specialized form of a trapezoid. They say that a trapezoid needs only at least one set of parallel sides. But more commonly here in your math classes, you will probably learn that a trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides, excluding parallelograms from being considered trapezoids. So their shared characteristics, they're both quadrilaterals having four sides, four vertices, and they both at least have one pair of parallel sides. And there you go. I'm Julia. Thank you.